going to be doing a, a schematic for a bedroom with these being considered. So the activities I've, I've listed down. And one of the first things that you, you need, you ought to do is you can, you can do schematics by creating the furniture, which is the bed for sleeping. So of course, I already know the dimensions of these. So for your research, you need to have a list already so that you know what it is. So I have, I would place, this is a, a 1.6 meter by a 2 meter, very ample enough of a bed so if this is a good bed i think it's for, for actually it could actually fit two people but for a person it would be something like this and i would also consider uh stuff like uh do i do you like watching tv while you're in bed so normally i would and of course do your investigation do uh, what what sort of size a tv would be if it's three meters away or four meters away it really depends so i would probably have something like this if my wall is going to be something somewhere here this could be a thickened wall like i say two meters so i already have this i would like to have a table somewhere like a well, probably this is going to be where you you can work also so if you have paperwork and what you're watching but then you always need to consider that hey uh what about a computer or do you have a laptop around if if this is enough then you will adjust this so i would raise that i would make it wider uh, uh deeper and then there's a tv there in front but then if if the tv is too big you would probably not need uh, such a big tv then and uh so this is no budget restraints at all so we're not thinking budget we're, we're thinking about your dream uh, bedroom so what about the bed is if it's too near i mean you don't you wouldn't have space for where your the chair would be if this is how you're right okay. but but just keep going uh, where this is uh if you have visitors another consideration would be where the sofa is if this is your door oh by the way uh, scaling should be considered here. For example, if you're going to be doing a schematic of this, uh, you can always use a 1 to 100 scale. Not use ruler, but just do a, a free-flowing sort of thinking or, or, or uh, sketching. So if the proportion you put in a scale bar by using your scale ruler, so this is going to be your reference. So every time you see it, you would you would know. So how would I know that I'm doing this in proportion? Uh, I could I I could take say now usually this is roughly about one meter, but in actuality the door panel would be about roughly about 0.8 or 0.9 meters. But uh, I would round it up for as a one meter. So my one meter it corresponds to to this. If so if this is the, the reference so a door would open something to this i would suggest that you would be using colored pencils on paper so like what i'm doing here what i'm showing what i do encourage you to do is not to erase but rather just switch to another color if you're not satisfied with this so i'm going to switching to another color okay what if certain things that i, I want is the other way around so this is schematic it's messy it's supposed to be messy it's supposed to be like your your graphic thinking erasing would actually stop you and, and make you pause and start erasing and you need to sort of like fall around okay so if i want a wall there i want a, uh, my own bathroom so i want this open i want that to be there and then am i answering this so so basically uh i don't have enough space may probably i want to move my bed a bit further away so that i have this space where would i have my visitors if i have my visitors i probably need want to take up more space here for say so far but then another consideration is if you guys are going to be playing video games where would you sit down 
So it's it's really probably I want this to be my cabinet where my clothes are. So another consideration here is is really from the activities. Of course, you need to change your clothes. This becomes then a sort of cabinetry storage space. Then a sofa. Again, investigate what sort of sofa dimensions that you need yeah, for scale purposes. It's going to be here. I want this to be something low type that when you go to bed, nothing is is blocking uh, your TV. And then I, if I have enough space, okay, so it's, it's again, this is be, would become a problem also. Again, another consideration here would be the space for a single chair. So there's not enough space here. And then if this is just your, uh, you start to decide, you know what, I want this to just to be not there anymore. I'm just gonna X that. Instead, you want your study space or your workspace to be somewhere here on the side. If you want a space, say, if you want to consider something like uh, a balcony, because that's what where you want to think or study, consider it. So another thing that you need to, to know is that, you know, the size of the table. Calculates are usually like roughly about 1.8 meters. Anything below that, it's uh, not so usable. You can't fit the table. I can share there. And this is going to be a balcony overlooking somewhere. So another consideration also is, is a view. If you have a nice view, that's the window. So I, I don't want to have my, my chair there anymore. I want a toilet somewhere here behind, but it's, this is such a big space. So I'm just going to limit it to something like here, or a shower area. I want this to be just open so that I can just go in and out. And another consideration, of course, the, the cabinetry is on the left side. So this becomes like a null invite, and then we have to go and switch it here because this is more convenient. If you take a shower and you have your uh, water closet, it's what they call it, toilet bowl is a water closet, and you have your, of course, your sink is somewhere roughly here where you brush your teeth, shave, and the like. This doesn't matter. So it's, it's a messy process. So, but then you're doing it in scale. So always have your scale indicated uh, like a scale bar. And then, of course, if you're not happy with this, you go on and try it. You go on and, and overwrite this with, red, say, red. Now, I'm going to be asking you to actually video record this just to see the process that you go on to the process. It's a struggle, yes. It's very daunting and it's very, very challenging because now, again, I know where, where things are. I want this to be just that. What do you want to do here? Probably you want this to be another thing. It's really up to you. Do you want a hobby room? Do you like working models? So therefore, if your workspace could be here with enough light, so it's sort of like your main office. So you would have guests. You have your cabinetry. If you want cabinetry to be much larger, you have a lot of clothes. You have a lot of stuff for storage. Do you want a kitchen? Do you want a sink? Do you want a rack? Really up to you. Where can you have your exercise? Because I uh, we listed down yoga. So again, another consideration. So in 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 this case, you start to record your stuff. Okay, so your design, and then if if it's over overwhelmingly uh, so messy already, if you feel that you need to go on to the to the next image, then you can replicate that same dimensions or same area and you want a clear sketch of what's going to happen where the bed is so i know another area here under beside this uh this one paper and then you want this probably now i'm thinking like uh, i want sliding doors here and then balcony is, is something here a bit bigger and then sliding doors and then my sofa could probably be still here coffee table again another thing that you consider uh, dimensions for investigating and then it's like a niche i wanna goes in and this is the wall 
my door is oriented in such so that when it opens there's no direct a visual to the outside for, for example if this is a living room you would like to rather have your door swing so or the other way around really depends on on what here if this is a, a niche already uh, some some sort of uh, seclusion that blocks the public or the view into your room and that's okay and the door swing would be touched so and this is the again also investigate on toilet uh, textures like uh, the shower area minimum is one meter by one meter area and this would be probably another meter by one meter for your uh, sink sorts maybe I, i'll just do that i don't need to have that this is like me and this is going to be my workspace so light considerations so i want a window there I want a window there so that light comes in here and probably this is an operable type of window so that have i have these cross ventilation okay i could have a wider type of balcony in essence again uh this is just a an example uh it could not be as such okay and um, i do not encourage you to copy just what i did here but rather, I would want you to come up with your own unique floor plan of your own uh, to answer your needs. And then I want you to kind of also be writing about it and why this thing is. Either you write it down or you put it in your video. So the private course, this is schematic one. Of course, it really depends on what you need and what you want to happen with your own Mac or bedroom. So you're the single occupant for this room. And, and it's going to answer your needs. I'm now showing you some what was previously done. This is the schematic that I, I would want. And uh, some before I proceed on to creating this, there were some things that I, I want to put in. So the bed is going to be this one. It's going to be like that. So I'm slightly doing this, and then I would have my sofa there. Of course, I would also need uh, the dimensions of this in order for me to draft uh, what is basically the general thing that I, I wanted to put here. Uh, of course, if you have already done your investigations on the dimensions as the previous staff would have asked you to do, you pretty much would have a pretty good idea of where or what uh, these are. So this is going to be the cabinetry. This is where you're you're going to be storing your your things and clothes. Of course, the balcony is going to be here. One idea here is, of course, you need to some so somehow have a scale bar of some sorts in order for you to tell what the distances are. So you're going to be five meters. So one so one meter is something like here this is a 1.6 meter by two meter bed from the previous this is something like a 0.6 meter depth sort of counter well in that in this case i need to be until here because i don't have space for that entrance the seat would be like so far TV, so I, I wouldn't have any more you know, coffee table. It's not there. Then this is what I need. We have a window there. So I still start uh, creating, uh, noting down the dimensions. This is 0.7 meters. It should be a 0.8 meters. Clearance here going to the toilet. It's going to be tiled. Balcony would have one step down. Then I would have sliding windows and the balcony will have railings to be a uh, minimum 1.8 so that wall would probably be to bed would probably be a 2.2.3 meters and i would have another uh you should have a pretty much good idea where the what are the dimensions that you're going to be drafting 
prior to the actual drafting dimensions. So you give these things, and if these dimensions should have been determined, if you have done your research on the furniture and textures and parameters where furniture offset spaces need to be like on the front of a sofa there is a space between that uh, and a coffee table or at least three or one foot so this one the dimension of a sofa would be probably one meter and this dimension would be something like a 0.8 that space so this in turn gives me an idea of what the minimum dimensions that i, I need here this would be automatically be four meters plus minus. So I'm not really sure yet. I would probably get a more sense of what they do than when, when I draft them. So here the space. I need a minimum space. So that would be probably one meter. 0.8 to 1 meter, so I'm just going to give that to 1 meter. This is another 1.6, that's a 2.6. And then here, entrance twice the 1.5 equals here. That's probably so. This is where I can do exercise, or you can do exercise. So 2.6 plus would be another 4 meters. So this entire thing is a 5 4 meter. What about here? How do I determine this? If this is one meter, and this would be, say, a 1.2 at least. Let's make that a few meters. So since budget is not really our con major concern here, you have to consider, you know, um, these things should not be too big or not too small. So I have a good idea what these are. This is a 2.4 meters. Now I can start to, to add. Uh, I, I have these in, in construction. So pretty much a good idea. I'm going to keep this um, at the side. So I could, I could start drafting. As while I'm referencing the, the explore plan.